Simon Ekba has declared that internally displaced person IDPS from Northern Nigeria are no longer welcome in Biafra land, framing the situation as a matter of security, trust and identity. Simon Ekba begins by labeling the Northern IDPs, whom he refers to as terrorists, as a security threat to Biafra land. He expresses deep mistrust towards the Nigerian state and accuses the government of deliberately relocating these displaced individuals into Biafra land for ulterior motives. According to Simon Ekba, Northern Nigeria has been overrun by terrorist group sponsored by the Nigerian government as part of an Islamic agenda. He suggests that these terrorists have displaced many Northern Nigerians and now they are being moved to Biafra land under the guise of seeking refuge. Simon Ekba viewed this as a sinister plot to destabilize and destroy Biafra land. Simon Ekba counters the perception that Biafra land is insecure, claiming that despite efforts by Nigerian military and police to undermine Biafra security, Biafra land has become the safest region in the country. He argues that the Biafra government has succeeded in making Biafra land secure, which is why IDPS from northern Nigeria are now seeking refuge there. This, he claims, proves the failure of Nigeria's attempt to destabilize the region. Simon Ekba clearly states that Northern IDPs will only be granted asylum or refugee status in Biafra land after Biafra has achieved full independence and is recognized by the international community as a sovereign state. Until that time, he maintains that Biafra land is at war with the Nigerian state and it is not safe or appropriate for Northern IDPs to seek shelter there. Simon Ekba emphasizes that the presence of Northern IDPs will jeopardize the safety and security of Biafra land. He states that Biafra fighters are sacrificing their lives to protect their land and people from the Nigerian state, allowing IDPs from the north who Simon Ekba believes harbor hatred and terrorism would be a betrayer of that sacrifice. He warns that any attempt to establish IDP camps in Biafra land will be met with strong resistance, including the destruction of any such facilities. Simon Ekba repeatedly stresses that the security of Biafra women, children, and the land itself is of utmost importance to the Biafra government. He argues that this priority will not be compromised to accommodate Northern IDPs, whom he continues to view as potential infiltrators and terrorists. Simon Ekpa has said that Biafra security forces will resist any efforts to bring IDPs to Biafra land day or night. Simon Ekpa also criticizes both the Nigerian government and what he refers to as enablers within Biafra land, who are complicit in the effort to bring IDPs into the region. He accuses these individuals of pretending to care for the IDPs while simultaneously working against the interests of the Biafran people. Simon Ekpa suggests that such enablers are motivated by a desire for praise and recognition, which he dismisses as irrelevant compared to the responsibility of protecting Biafra land and its people. Simon Ekpa also proposes that in the future, any refugees seeking to enter Biafra land must undergo a thorough screening process managed by the Biafran government to ensure that they are not terrorists. Only after such screening and under the condition that Biafra has become an independent state will refugees be granted protection in accordance with international law. In a stock warning, Simon Ekba tells Northern IDPs that their safety and security cannot be guaranteed if they attempt to enter Biafra land. 
He emphasizes that Biafra land is still at war with the Nigerian state and anyone coming from northern Nigeria will be viewed as a potential enemy or terrorist. He advises that IDP should seek refuge elsewhere in Nigeria, particularly Yoruba land, which he claims is most secure. Throughout the speech, Simon Ekpa presents Biafra as a future independent state with a government focused on protecting its people and land. He portrays the current situation as a critical moment in the Biafran struggle for independence, where security and territorial integrity are non-negotiable. Simon Ekpa also insists that the Biafran people will not leave their ancestral land nor will dare allow outsiders to destabilize the region. The underlining theme throughout the speech is a deep-seated mistrust of Northern Nigerians and the Nigerian government, which Simon Ekpa views as complicit in terrorism and in an Islamic agenda aimed at destroying Biafra land. Security is the most crucial issue for Simon Ekpa, who frames the Biafra struggle as a fight for survival against a hostile Nigerian state. He positioned Biafra land as a secured and protected region, but warns that this security is fragile and must be defended against external threats, including IDPs. Simon Ekpa ties the refugee issue to the larger goal of Biafra independence, arguing that only after achieving independence will Biafra be able to provide asylum and protection to refugees. Until then, the region is at war and cannot accommodate displaced people from the north. Simon Ekpa's declaration of banning northern IDPs from entering Biafra land reflects his concerns about security, territorial integrity, and the ongoing Biafra independence movement. His message is clear. Biafra land is not a safe or appropriate place for northern IDPs at this time, and any attempt to move displaced persons into the region will be met with resistance. Simon Ekpa views the situation as part of a larger conflict between Biafra and the Nigerian government, with Biafra land emerging as a secure and independent state. I will play the audio tape for you guys to hear for yourself. The government, whoever that is involved in pushing the so-called internally displaced people, which are terrorists, as far as we are concerned, we can never trust anything from Nigeria. So Northern Nigeria has been overrun by terrorists sponsored by the Nigeria state for only one agenda called Islamic agenda. And today, people are being moved from Northern Nigeria to Biafra land that they hate with passion. And as they are moving them from the ancestral land to Biafra land, according to them, remember that strangers have already occupied their land. Ask yourself, who are those occupying the land of the people that today have found or are looking for a safe haven in Biafra land? That Biafra land, the sister Manekpa is destroying. That Biafra land, they told you that Biafra army have destroyed. That Biafra land, they told you that Simon Ekpa is bringing in security. They have found safe heaven and security in that same Biafra land. What is that? What does that tell you? It tells you that we have defeated Nigeria. It tells you that the Biafra government have succeeded in making Biafra land the only secure place in the entire Nigeria area. And the only agenda and the only motive they have is to continue to push for the destruction of Biafra land since they have not succeeded in using their military uniform and police to destroy our land they now want to use the people they called internally displaced there are places in Yoruba land there are enough land in Yoruba land there are la la enough land in Lagos Lagos is secured we are calling on them the so-called president today is from Yoruba land so Yoruba land is secured they must move these people to Yoruba land or to other parts of Nigeria where they believe they have control over. Because Biafra land is not safe for them. I am telling you the fact, we can never guarantee any security of anybody from northern Nigeria in the name of coming to seek refugee. It is not yet time for you to come to Biafra land to seek refuge. 
we will grant you refugee we will grant you asylum according to in accordance with international law we will give you asylum protection only and only when biafra become an independent state at this point we are in the state of war with the nigeria terrorist state just the reason why they have chased you out of your ancestral land is the reason men have risen up in biafra land and they are armed all of you from northern nigeria that are looking for safe haven in biafra land i want to inform you that our men are paying the price that will make our women not to leave their ancestral land and move to ADP camp. Men are dying for it. And for that reason, it is not yet time <coughs> for us to allow anybody or any infiltrator from any part of Nigeria or from any part of the world to come to our land and live freely while people are dying and fighting the same government that has made your life miserable in your own country and your own nation and your own state this particular emergency space today is to call the attention of whoever that is involved in this threat against biafra people to understand that we will resist you in the morning we will resist you in the afternoon we will resist you in the night and that facility that they say is a place where they are going to be staying and learn i am telling you the fact it is going to raise down we will raise it down you will come back to biafra land when we have become an independent state recognized by the united nation we are not going to be distracted by this shambolic love that these evaders and enablers in our land are trying to show they never love you i want those who have actually been deceived by their propaganda that Samonekpa is destroying Biafra land to ask yourself question. Is it not the same Biafra land Samonekpa is destroying that they want to know that they have found to be the only safest place for people in the northern Nigeria, displaced people in northern Nigeria to come and live? It is not going to be possible. We are not going to say that uh, we will not accept refugees when the time come, but I'm just telling you today that now is not the right time for any person to come to Biafra land in the name of refugee. We do not have that particular atmosphere. We do not have that particular conducive environment. We do not have that secured environment for you who have been displaced in northern Nigeria to come with your hate and your terrorism to our land at this point. It is not going to be accepted, accepted by us and we are going to resist it. So what I'm trying to say today is that those coming to Biafra land, your security of life and property will never ever be guaranteed. Not by the Nigeria state, not by the Biafra government. You're on your own. And whatever you see, you take. Do not blame anybody. This warning goes to whoever that is involved, the enablers in our land, Hopus Odima and his group, to understand that you know what we can do and you know what we have been doing if you think you are going to take this warning for granted let them come and the rest will be history thank you very much i want everybody to ask very relevant questions especially those who have been doubting our resolve in securing their land today your eyes should be open that among all the states in nigeria it is the biafra land that they say is insecure some people have destroyed is the only place they found secure to bring northern displaced people to have a refugee and have training in biafra land that is completely unacceptable we are going to accept them when they have gone through our screening which is going to be introduced by only biafra government and we are going to ascertain that the people coming are not terrorists we will give them refugee status. We will give them protection in accordance with international law. But at this point, anybody coming from northern Nigeria will be regarded as a terrorist. You never liked us. You hate us with impunity. And we will never ever accept you. So until Biafra become an independent state, we are in the state of war. And I hope you understand what is going on. So we urge those who are being deceived to understand that if you come to Biafra land, believe me, your security 
will never ever be guaranteed and because we love human life we love we respect life and dignity of people and we want to put this warning ahead of time because we are never going to sacrifice or compromise our own security for the security of anybody the security of biafra women and children is the utmost priority of the biafra government and we're not going to compromise that in order to be called good people or in order to be to uh, people to praise us or anything no we don't we don't need your praise we don't need your acknowledgement our only responsibility as a government of biafra is to make sure that our women will not be looking for a place to go and seek refuge in the southern nigeria in yoruba land or in the northern nigeria or in middle belt we'll make sure our women will be protected in our land in biafra land and we're not going to leave our ancestral land for anybody that particular it, that particular agenda has been achieved by the biafra government using the biafra liberation army resistance fighters and all biafra armed group that has made it possible that our land is today a secure place for people to even think of coming to build any facility for training internally displaced people in the northern nigeria isn't that a very awkward situation this audio report focuses on a declaration made by simon ekba a prominent figure associated with biafra separatist movement banning internally displaced persons idps from northern nigeria from entering the southeastern region of nigeria often referred to as biafra land simon ekba frames these idps as potential terrorists and security threats claiming that their presence would undermine the Biafran struggle for independence from Nigeria. He strongly opposes the movement of internally displaced persons IDP from northern Nigeria to the southeastern Biafra land. He claims these displaced people are terrorists and represent a threat to Biafra security and independence. Simon Ekba alleged that northern Nigeria has been overrun by terrorist forces sponsored by the Nigerian government. According to him, these terrorists are being sent to Biafra land disguised as IDPs which raises significant concern about the safety and sovereignty of Biafra land. Throughout the report, there is a clear and strong distrust of the Nigerian state which Simon Ekpa accuses of manipulating events to further an Islamic agenda and destabilize Biafra land. Simon Ekpa further asserts that, despite claims of instability in the southeastern region, Biafra land is one of the most secure regions in Nigeria. He believes that this security has been achieved through the efforts of the Biafra Liberation Army and various armed groups defending Biafra land from external threats. Why Simon Ekpa does not entirely dismiss the possibility of granting asylum to displaced people. He insists that this can only happen once Biafra is recognized as an independent state. Until then, he considers the region in a state of war with Nigeria and is unwilling to accept northern Nigerian IDPs. Simon Ekpa issues a stern warning to anyone who supports or facilitates the entry of northern IDPs into Biafra land vowing to resist these actions at all costs. Any facility built to accommodate IDPs will be destroyed by Biafra soldiers and forces. Simon Ekpa is very clear in his message. He outlined his concerns regarding security, sovereignty, and the potential manipulation by the northern states to infiltrate and destabilize Biafra land through the guise of IDPs. The core of Simon Ekpa's argument is rooted in the struggle for Biafra independence by framing the situation as a security risk. He strengthens the narrative that Biafra land is under siege which could resonate with Biafra sympathizers. Simon Ekpa's claim that Biafra land is one of the most secure regions in Nigeria despite challenges placed into a narrative of self-reliance 
and strength within the separatist movement. This is the end of our news update. I will see you again in my next update. Enjoy the rest of your day.